January as Human Trafficking Awareness Month. And although the thought is scary and it's something you may not even think could happen to someone in your family, officials right here in Indiana says that it's happening everywhere in every county. Our Kelsey Anderson sat down with one Indiana man who was trafficked in California at 11 by his own mom. She joins us live in studio this morning with his story, Kelsey. Hey, good morning. So the message officials want to send during the month of January is that human trafficking can happen to anyone, anywhere. And we need to be alert to the things that are going on around us, especially with the children in our lives. Eric Harris is a human trafficking survivor. He tells me his mom trafficked him when he was just 11, when she introduced him to the pedophilia culture. After that, things got much worse. I got out, my mom moved in with these uh, coworkers that was told to me. And then uh, slowly but surely, a trafficker too, or groomer too, he saw the brokenness of the relationship. And so he played on that vulnerability and that need for me to have the nuclear family. Eric says once the trust was built, the man began exploiting him to even more men. He was able to escape, and now he's working on getting his education. I spoke with Kate Kemmer with the Indiana Coalition to End Sexual Assault and Human Trafficking. She tells me there are signs, especially for kids, when something bad is happening to them at home. And the main one, and the easiest thing to see, is if their behavior makes a drastic change. So if a straight-A student starts acting up in class or sleeping or fighting, that's the time you should ask questions about what's going on. She says when it comes to children, you shouldn't be afraid to call authorities because it's better to be safe than sorry. You need to be less worried about the adults that are harming kids and whether or not you might be wrong. If you're wrong, you're wrong. They'll do the assessment and they'll leave. And if you're not wrong, you may have access services for a child that has been going through a nightmare that you couldn't imagine. Mm -hmm. um, and Kelsey, Eric says he has one message in particular that he wants people to take away from his story. Yeah, and that message is he wants people to believe survivors. Even if their story can change, it's a very traumatic event that they've been through. So even if it changes, believe them and be glad that they trusted you enough to tell you their story. Kelsey, thank you for bringing us this important topic. So important that we're all aware that this is happening so we can keep our eyes open.